Could we be getting Nintendo's next generation system, aka the Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever they call their next device, this holiday? Well, a new rumor has hit the internet that we are going to talk about for a couple of reasons, and I'm going to give my thoughts on both for it happening and also against it happening bring your tinfoil hats you know tune them in just right uh be sure to back up those trucks of salt because boy oh boy we're going on a journey here but before we go on that journey i want to remind you we do have a giveaway going on right now for a zelda tears of the kingdom nintendo switch oled a special edition of tears of the kingdom along with one of those tears of the kingdom pins from pax east you can Enter that giveaway down in the pinned comment or the description. And I would appreciate if you would subscribe and like this video. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. We're on our road to 133,000 subscribers. Quite a unique number. Let's get into it. So our dear pal of the channel, a friend, someone I know personally, is putting some rumors out there. And I want to note a few things before I get into these rumors. One, please... Do not say anything disparaging about my friend because he is a friend of mine. Also, please do not go to his channel to attack and or say anything negative to him. This person has announced publicly that they are going through some tough times at the moment. They put out a tweet about it, so I, I can actually talk a little bit about it. Just noting that they are losing a family member at the moment that is, they are very, very close to. So we don't need to pile on. But we are talking about Mike Odyssey. He is a friend of the channel. You guys know he had some, some rumors for last week, some of which might have been true, some of which definitely weren't. And he had a bunch of different sources on stuff last week, so we're not going to dive too much into that. Uh, one of those sources that might have been right is actually one of the sources he has today, but he mentions sources, aka more than one. I don't know who these sources are. I haven't asked him. I'm kind of just letting him be right now while he deals with his family, but what I want to note here is that I have no idea if these are true, okay? This is not me putting, uh, uh, going out there and being like, hey, this is actually happening. There is some reasoning to maybe think there might be some truth to this, just from a logic perspective, and we'll get into this. But we need to just dive into these Nintendo Switch 2 rumors. You guys have waited long enough. So Mike Odyssey has noted he has sources more than one. One of them might have been right about the Zelda trailer last week. He has informed that there is a big presentation in June and another bigger one in September. And that, that one in September will be tied to Nintendo Live 2023. Now, obviously saying, oh, there's going to be an event in June and September. I mean, Nintendo traditionally has Nintendo Directs in June and September. So that's not going too far out on a limb, but it's what these events are going to be about. So these two events are going to be related to each other, aka they're not just your typical Nintendo Directs, right? Nintendo Directs can usually stand on their own. They'll have their own games in it. Yeah, some games will be in both, but typically you look at each Direct as a standalone event. Well, that's because Nintendo Switch 2, or whatever they call the new system, is the reason. And they he's basically saying, according to his sources, that it will be unveiled in a June event and blown out in September. So there would be like a June Direct or something that unveils the system or some sort of June event because they haven't really unveiled systems and directs. And then there would be an additional September event that would likely be an online digital presentation along with the Nintendo Live 2023 because he claims the new system will be available to play or go hands-on at Nintendo Live 2023 and that there will be a new Mario game. Now, I want to note here, of course, that when we're talking about this stuff, they are just rumors. You should definitely uh, you know, take them with a grain of salt. You should be highly skeptical of any rumors surrounding the new system. We all know all the tobacco with Nintendo Switch Pro back in the day. We don't want to get too overhyped about something that may not come to pass. And Mike Odyssey himself is treating this as a complete rumor. He, he's not even 100% confident in this information, but it is something that he is claiming that he has heard. So there is that. Uh, now, I have a few thoughts here. Uh, one of those on the defense of why this could be real. And a lot of this just has to do with the way the rest of the year lines up, right? We have Pikmin 4 in July. We seemingly have nothing really in between. A bunch of DLC coming this year, but for some reason, we don't really know anything past July. We've never really been this late in the year beyond 2020, which was the beginning of COVID. And obviously, there were a bunch of canceled events and canceled directs that would have gave us information. So it's really weird that we don't know. As of 2020, didn't even have a general direct. 
it's really weird that we just don't know anything happening after Pikmin 4. Now, again, Nintendo could still announce some stuff in the summer, and it, it could be all fine, but it, it kind of lines up that maybe it's because Nintendo's waiting to unveil new hardware. They don't want to talk about it now while they're launching Tears of the Kingdom, right? They want everyone to hype about Tears of the Kingdom, buying Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLEDs, and all that stuff. But we have some acknowledgement from President Shintaro Furukawa in the last financial briefing, which there should be a new one pretty soon for the end of the fiscal year. But in the last one, he sort of acknowledged, hey, we're not going to sell as many Switches uh, next year as we did this year sort of admitting they're on the decline. They're trying to sell people their second and third systems at this point. And he's well aware that they have hit market saturation. He didn't use those words. But when you're saying, hey, we're trying to sell people their second and third switches, that's market saturation. You're trying to sell multiple devices to the same consumers who already own your device. So he's well aware of where Nintendo sits in the market and that it's probably getting time to refresh the Switch in some way to give people a reason to want to buy another platform, whether it's a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro or something of that ilk. So there is some evidence to suggest Nintendo's clearly been sort of hinting at it publicly without full-on admitting it. But now we have to get into the idea that this obviously could be fake as well. The Nintendo Switch did bounce back and is back in the number one spot in Japan. A lot of this is probably due to the upcoming release of Tears of the Kingdom. And they're going to have a pretty good, I would say, first quarter because of Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom might be on pace to set records at launch. Might even pass Scarlet and Violet for the fastest selling Nintendo game of all time. Switch units are going to sell in the millions. And maybe Nintendo just wants to ride this out another year and launch something in 2024. Now, one of the biggest evidence that we have, really two pieces of evidence that we have that a new system is even coming at all, was a report from Nick Kay stating that Nintendo was currently, you know, this was months ago, working out manufacturing contracts to start mass producing the next system for a 2024 launch. We also had that leak for the last Pokemon event that gave us a bunch of details that ended up being 100% correct on Scarlet and Violet DLC, mentioning that the, he, he was involved with working on a graphics patch for the next generation system for this game and that that would be connected to the final part of the DLC which is slated to launch in early 2024 and that could support obviously a March or something launch for a new system or a holiday launch with the system being out before that graphics patch drops so that's just some information out there that sort of supports it but we, we have to be skeptical because obviously Nintendo hasn't announced anything Nintendo hasn't said anything at all, and I would say, you know, just in regards to my dear friend Mike Odyssey and his track record with his sources, I, I would say it's, you know, solid but spotty. Uh, you know, not everything he puts out there is correct. You know, to give him some credit on stuff he absolutely was correct on, there's a bunch of gameplay mechanics he talked about with... Um, with Tears of the Kingdom that he wasn't even treating that much like a rumor uh, because of who his source was, which was completely different from these other sources. And, um, and and those gameplay mechanics stuff ended up pretty much being 100% right. We covered them as well because we were privy to the information thanks to him. And it certainly seemed pretty legit. And it turns out that that information basically was correct. But also, you know, but things like saying, hey, there was going to be a direct last week or uh, rumored a direct last week, that, that, that wasn't the case. So, uh, you you got to always take things like this uh, with grains of salt. I think this is true of no matter who the, the, the quote-unquote leaker is or whoever. You always need to be a bit careful about stuff. And uh, in this case, you know, we're not going to know the answer to this stuff for months. So I don't really expect an update on this or, or anything new unless there's other rumors floating out there from more reputable outlets like Bloomberg or Nate the Hate or something like that. I just wanted to kind of make this video because I think it's really, really interesting. And it's honestly the first tidbit on if it comes out this year that we're hearing information on it supposedly maybe possibly again be skeptical but there you have it thank you guys so much for tuning in i am nathaniel robojance from nintendo prime we have a smidge of tears of the kingdom news to get to a bit later today i also well i think i'm gonna pack it in we got a, like a double pack video because uh something else is happening to tears of the kingdom that is not nintendo's fault but is really weird um we're gonna have to talk about that later so we got more coming your way today, maybe a three-pack of videos. You guys are amazing and awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.